All right, what's up, VC? Got something in the mail today. It's not the UHQR. Everyone seems like to be getting theirs before me. That's just life. It's how things go. Fine with that. But I did get something, something for Jilly. So let's, uh, I think I have an idea what this might be. All right, nice. So, a better version of this. I got a copy of this last week. It was in mint condition, so I thought, until you look on the last side and the last two songs, got two deep gouges, and it does affect the plane. So, we found one of these online for really cheap. And, uh, let's give this one a look. They were saying in uh, near mint. Side one looks good. Nice. And side two looks good. Awesome. Even got the original ECM. Uh, uh, sorry about that. Someone's trying to call. It's even got the ECM uh, original sleeve. It's always cool to see what other stuff they're releasing. They put out so much fire. I feel like, I mean, I'm sure people back in the day knew about them, but I feel like they're still kind of underrated. All right, let's see. I got an extra sleeve over here. Let's just do it now. So now I got, well, what I'll probably do is get rid of my beat up copy. Well, but I almost don't want to get it back in the world because I feel bad for someone to get that copy and then be excited like I was and then get home and find out it's beat up. You gotta be careful. Sometimes you'll do that and you just realize you spit like a fucking big old loogie right on your album. Oh, what's up? Just got a text message about a show. Getting, um, that's always exciting. Alright. Alright guys, well that's all I wanted to show. I'm keeping this one short and sweet. Um, and what it is, it's Ralph Towner and Gary Burke. And then it's just basically them two and some piano also. But um Or maybe you know I might be getting that there was piano on the Ralph Towner and John Abercrombie. So this one is just Gary Burke and Vibro Harp and Ralph Towner on the 12 string classical guitars, but Definitely want to have a clean copy of this. And this is an original. Super stoked to get this. Um, if you got this, throw a comment. Uh, what's up on the ECM? Um, I already said this before, but Stunt Rock Confusion did a really good episode showing some heat from the ECM. And I mean, he just showed a bunch of stuff that uh, I've never even had heard of. Uh, which is awesome. And then I, I don't even think I, I gotta rewatch the episode because... Uh, I was asking him about, uh, I'm going to forget the name right now, Julius Priester. And uh, I definitely want to get that album, Love, Love. That's, I was listening to it on YouTube and I was like, damn, uh, this album is fire. And it's like, it seems like the only copies you can get are overseas in, Ger in Europe and Germany. It seems like all the copies are for sale. So, I mean, what, and what's crazy, it seems like I'm realizing they released a bunch of stuff in Europe that they never even released over here, apparently. So, I mean, what the, what's up with that? Um, I'm going to have to go on Google and do a little research. And, I mean, maybe those artists were, they thought when the sales would just be better in Europe, so they didn't release them. In, but that, release them in America, but that makes no sense. Because these bands sound amazing, so it seems like people would have still bought them. Maybe the popularity just wasn't there. I don't, I have no idea, but, you know, and this kind of all stems to, uh, this one album. Stunty was showing some stuff, and I recognized some of them, and then when he showed this one, Michael Knorr, I definitely didn't recognize I'm getting a copy. And then, it, and just by a strange coincidence, when I was waiting for that copy to come, 
I found Ralph Towner's Solstice, which has one of the members from that Michael Knorr album. Strangely, strangely enough, and they very, they both albums have a very strong similarity to them. They almost sound like you could just listen to them back to back because it sounds like one album to the next. Is it almost could be one giant album, possibly? But obviously, the Ralph Towner has a lot more, you know, guitar orientated. But this, the style is very similar in a good way, which is awesome. So, anyways, I can start rambling on forever. I gotta try to call somebody so I can make sure I get this gig. It's a short notice gig. And uh, cause I wasn't gonna go bust, but if I got indoor, that'd be awesome. So later, guys. Stay positive. Play lots of vinyl. Like and subscribe if you enjoy my vinyl rants. And go check out all the other cool vinyl channels and go support them also. All right, guys. Bye, uh, bye, later. And I'll see you next time.